Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Razzle, and once again, time to Crash Scott. So, this very special reaction video here on the channel. If you guys did not know, Toys for Bob celebrated the 10th anniversary of Skylander Spyro's Adventure not too long ago. It was around the beginning of the month. I didn't do anything for it. Technically, I uploaded an honesty half hour with Dynarang in Spyro's Adventure. It just happened to turn out perfectly like that. But in their live stream, they did, they well, if you didn't know, they did a live stream where they showed off, where they had a bunch of questions, they played the game, and one of the biggest things they did was actually show off a prototype demo of Spyro's Kingdom, which is what Skylanders turned into being. Pretty cool, right? Well... I actually never fully reacted to it. So at the time I was watching it, I was watching a little bit of it, so I got to see like the first like five minutes, but then unfortunately my house is up for sale, so people came to view the house, so I had to stop watching it, and I didn't go back and finish it. So I decided, hey, why don't I do a reaction to it? And you guys are probably saying, Crash, you're uh, roughly a month too late. I know, I've had a lot of things on my hand, a lot of time on my hands to not record this. So we're going to do it now. I hope you guys enjoyed this regardless, so thank you so much for stopping by and wanting to watch this series. One of the biggest things is I wanted to want, react to this one purposely is because not only is my favorite baby boy Bash in it, but also an ice, a Skylander that actually was never released that turned into another Skylander, and of course a very interesting variation of Spyro. Plus, it is pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to just try to commentate over it. It's, it's all music. There's no actual voiceover or anything. We're going to react to it, so uh, let's get this started. I'm excited about this. I'm really excited. Spyro's Kingdom. Let's look at Spyro. He looks hilarious. What a Miss Spyro's Kingdom prototype version 1.0. We hope you enjoyed playing the early sample of the gameplay of Spyro's Kingdom. All level art and sound design is placeholder. To begin, choose a minion and place it on the portal. It went a little fast. There's Fire Dragon, Cyclops Snail, Baby Boy Rock Dragon, Bomb Troll, Lantern, Potion of Speed. So this is exciting. It's really cool. So Bomb Troll is an early prototype of Boomer, if you guys don't know that. Press A for base tag, B for special type. This is on the Wii, so they were playing with the Wii mote. So this is like the initial, this is Spyro first starting off. It's just crazy to look at. Like, this is what Skylander started out as. And look at Spyro's Adventure, for example, and what it turned into with, like, Swap Force and Imaginators and all that. Everything's got to start somewhere. It's just wild. Look, look, you can't even, you can't even hit the chump he gave up. <laughs> That'd be me. So this one, this is one thing they talked about where they were going to change where at certain areas, you know, like that rock wall, you had to switch to certain Skylanders. So there's Cyclops Snail, if you guys don't know, that turned into Zap. So Cyclops Snail, they go to try to break down this wall, it doesn't work. So they have to switch to the Earth element of Rock Dragon. It came my boy Bash, look at him. So it was really cool, this aspect where they had like, the Earth element can only break down walls and stuff. But a lot of people, when they were doing the initial setup, said um, they weren't a fan of the fact that they have to switch characters. Like, they ruined, kind of ruined the flow of the game, which I fully agree with. Switching back and forth to the sky, I was like, imagine if you didn't have the Skylander to start off with, you know? Like, what about if I went and right away had, didn't have Bash? So how would I be able to get through the wall, right? Cyclops Snail, here we go. That's what I'm excited for. So Cyclops Snail, as you can see, looks identical to Zap, right? When it comes to his moveset. <laughs> So I wish there was some sound effects to help understand why there isn't. A lot of the minions stayed around. I don't know if you've noticed that. I think it was a new one back there with the, the giant goblin with that sledgehammer. Bunch of the axe minions there. Look at them. We got a treasure chest. Treasure chest is open on its own. There was no wiggle the stick, you know, which I like. <laughs> Look at Cyclops Snail go. I love this. It's just so cool looking at this, you know. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's how you do it. That's how you do it with Zap, too. If you guys didn't know. So you can't break down the wall with Cyclops Snail. And then he's got to switch to your boy Rock Dragon again. What a name. Like, I can't believe when the game was first being created, my favorite Skylander ever was in it. Place a potion on the portal for a speed bonus. So the potion back then, the healing elixir potion, you'll see now, this one, was actually a potion of speed. So you put it on and then um, it speeds you up? He doesn't seem to be any faster. Look how slow Baby Boy Bash's roll is. Ooh, he got hurt that time. Oh, come on, Baby Boy Bash. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, Rock Dragon? So you see at the bottom, there's the money counter. There's also A to join, so you can do multiplayer right off the bat, which is one thing I liked. So you actually do two players at once. Some minions can do things that other minions can't. So the Skylanders were originally called minions. 
but the minions became the bad guys in the long run. That's what it looks like. So it was around, it was after this part where he got over this bridge is where I didn't see anything else. And I remember seeing one picture of something at the end, so we'll talk about that when we get there. I hope you enjoyed the setup, by the way. I have a ring light on me. I think it looks a little better. You can probably definitely see the reflection of the ring on my glasses. <laughs> but it makes me invisible, which is the best part. Look at Baby Boy Bash killing it. Like, this, the thing is, is like you can beat this entire level with just Bash, but it looks like But, yeah, yeah, this is this is the last part I've seen. So Psychop Snail was just like with the water sky, so you can actually traverse on water. Just like you can do in the original game. So it made only certain areas accessible too, like water skylanders and stuff. But like, what if you don't have a water skylander? You can't beat the level 100%. Basically forced you to have skylanders. And then of course you can't get through with Psychop Snail, so you gotta go back to Rock Dragon, so I understand why they took that out. It kind of ruins the uh, the setup. This was back when, before they had the actual figures you put on the portal. So you can just kind of click a button and open up and just switch. Oh, hey, it's Bomb Troll! I actually not, did not see Bomb Troll in action. This is Boomer. You guys did not know. He threw the bombs a lot differently, as you can see there. So Bomb Troll turned into Boomer. Which Boomer I'm not a fan of. This is like, um, what level is this? This one's based off of one of the spires which Stone Town, I think? Things just like a little bit of Stone Town, a little bit of um, Leviathan Lagoon. It's kind of like a mix of them all, really. I think it is. I think it is Stone Town, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they mentioned what it actually was, but I think it was that. The money system I like, by the way, is actually it sticks with all Skylanders, so it, you can use it between each Skylander. Like each Skylander does have its own money, like in the, the actual game. There's the guy I didn't know about. Yeah, there's these these new enemies that actually didn't come out. The key is automatically open too, but it looks like, ooh, Bomb Troll's getting hurt a lot. Oh god, whoever's playing this Bomb Troll is not doing that well. He's gonna die! We're gonna see our first Skylander death. Oh, if this is a lock, Bomb Troll will be dead. And he's still going for some reason, even though he's dead. Not sure what Lantern does. I've never seen a Lantern before. Use Fire Dragon. As you guys may have noticed, this is Spyro. He's just Fire Dragon. They made him red to, like, they were gonna do variants, I think? And I mean, I'm not a fan of the red Spyro, to be completely honest with you. Look at him go. This is just so cool to watch, you know? As a Skylander fan who's been playing literally since the beginning, it's just wild to think that this is the game we could have gotten, you know? Oh, come on, Spyro, you can do it, buddy. <laughs> Like, you, you can see this kind of game and you see the potential. That's how I look at it. Like, I can see the potential in this game. Level up! Oh, Spyro somehow leveled up. It didn't even show him, show him a level, but he leveled up at least. There we go. All the doors open. Continue on. Place a lantern on the portal for extra illumination. Oh, sick! So it's kind of like Flash in Pokemon. There you go. Okay, so you had to actually have a, you had a dark area. And you can't break through with Spyro, so you have to switch to Rock Dragon. Oh! Well, you can! Never mind! Okay! So I guess it is possible with certain Skylanders to get through that. I missed a chest back there. I think it was a chest. You can see, yeah, like the puzzles themselves. You can see that aspect in the original Skylanders. We had a lot of puzzles involved with it. Oh, it wasn't a crate. It was a, um, it was a crate, sorry. Not a, not a chest. <laughs> that was a chest. It was a crate. Look at him go. I like the music. I'm like, I don't think this is the same music that ended up in the actual game. Unless, because I don't really listen to the music. That's my biggest thing. It's one of my biggest flaws, actually. When it comes to Skylanders, I don't listen to the music. Sorry, Judas, if you're watching. He's the music guy. If you want to go watch some Lux music, it's him. Look at all the minions. Oh, it's all the Cyclops minions, too. Like, I can't stand the Cyclops minions. The coin jacks had to step on. They didn't um, contract you. Ooh, are those, oh, Chompy Pods! Beta Chompy Pods! Oh, wow! They, oh, they definitely got an upgrade. Shake off the Chompies. Oh, right! I forgot that's what the Chompies did in the original game, is they actually jump on you, and you actually had to shake it off with the Wiimote, or shake the stick, whatever game you were playing with. So with the Chompies, you literally had to take the Wiimote and go, oh, I don't have, here, you, you had to go like this, and shake them off, which I thought was pretty cool. I've only played Giants on the Wii when I actually had, um, when I had my, well, I was playing on Wii U, obviously, but I was playing with the Wiimote. I haven't played any other Skylander games on Wii. 
At some point, I may do superchargers racing, but because I heard that's cursed. You can't break that. You need the baby boy bash. Oh, he's going to switch it. He's going to do it. Don't know why it takes a long way around every time. I think if you just go to the left, it would go back to bash. <laughs> I mean, rock dragon. And on this channel, we stand rock dragon. And he's very slow. Look how slow bash is in the beta. Like, I find it funny. I probably wouldn't have liked bash if he was that slow. And I had to keep using the, um... Potion of speed to warm him up. Powerful though, he's getting like 100 damage every time he hits though. Ooh, leveled up. That's my boy. Look how much health you lose with the Chompies. That's insane. Oh, we're getting close to the end here now. Hey, it's that Rock Golem from Stone Town. This is definitely a, a beta of Stone Town. To be continued, you're close to the end of the level. The level's comments will be a boss fight with a terrible stone golem. If you're victorious, you rescue the fairy, reward you with generous amount of treasure. Finally, a summary of your achievements is displayed detailing stats and details about your experience. Then you return to Spyro's Village to learn of your next quest. Please reset the prototype to play again. You were really trying your quest to prototype to play again. Give up your efforts. Reset prototype. You're making this hard to believe. Well, press the prototype play. You got too much time in your hands. What is going on? <laughs> There's, get a job, kid. What? You have anything better to do? Too much time in your hands. You're asking for it. Too much time on your hands. Are they rapidly pressing A? What did you expect? Prepare yourself? Just kidding. Another cool down. Boring. Stop it. Boring. Is this chaos? I'm giving up. You're wearing me down. You're... I really can't take it anymore. I'm serious this time. It's all over now. Oh! So, the, uh, the game, game took you for a loop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! So the game, oh, the game, like, kind of soft locks you to lose. Oh, I love that. I hate it at the same time in the beta here. Oh, my God. Bash is dying. Look at him. Look at all the chompies. What the heck? Oh, T-Pose. Everyone T-Pose. T-Pose, guys. Look at him. Oh my gosh. He's getting annihilated. <laughs> oh, he's flying now somehow. There's still more Chompies posing and half of them are T-posing. So I guess you actually weren't technically supposed to continue on past this part with the prototype. Wow. <laughs> I don't think you can shake out those Chompies. They're going to be completely honest with you there. <laughs> oh man. That's insane. Look at him. Oh my. That was a really cool prototype. I actually love that. Um, it's just cool seeing what Skylanders was before it actually turned into what it was. And the fact that um, there was a little bit of humor at the end there. It literally was like, please reset the prototype and play again. And if you just rapidly keep pressing A, you basically get taunted, which it seems like it's something that Chaos does. It makes you a little bit taunted. And then the game literally goes, you can't beat us. Here's literally 700 chompies. <laughs> and you get surrounders. No way you can shake all those off. You see how fast... Um, Rock Dragon, aka Bash, we stand Rock Dragon here, lost all his health, that was crazy. That was such a cool video, so cool to watch. Um, big thanks to Toys for Bob for showing us that, that's really cool. Um, if you're watching Toys for Bob, y'all know you changed my life, you know that. You gave me a Spy Spyro Remaster, that's, and, and Skyliners, but, but mostly the Spyro Remaster. <laughs> But no, this is really cool that you guys took the time out of your day to do a live stream to talk about Skylanders and show us this prototype that we've never seen before, or if you, if some people have seen before, jerks. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think was the best part about this prototype, the fact that we had a lantern, or something that was in this version that should have been the original version, or vice versa, or maybe a fun fact that I didn't even realize about my boy Rock Dragon. Who knows? But thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next week for another awesome video. Y'all mean the world to me. Don't ever forget it. But as always, I bid you farewell.